Hello everyone, welcome to BB Knows Best. Today, I want to speak with you about how I manifest my first dream and how can you manifest your dreams? Well, to be honest with you, ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted to live in New York City. That was my dream. My mother says that I was a little kid, maybe seven, eight, and I always tell her, you know what? I'm gonna live in New York City. And she said, where are you gonna go? You're not gonna leave. You're not gonna leave your mom. But the thing is that that dream, it was there. And I think that I was very lucky to really get in touch with the law of attraction or the law of manifestation, or you could just call it the way you want. But for me, it's really how you make through your really desires and your dreams. This is what I will say. And as I told you, as I told you before, it was New York. That was the dream. And this book came into my hands and it was um, a book from Wine Dyer called Real Magic. And I read it when I was at 19, 20 years old. And I started to realize that it was possible if you really want something and if you really are positive and optimistic about something to get it. But of course, there is a procedure. That's also the reason why so much people are very disappointed with the law of attraction. And it's, you know, it's not enough just with wishing something. It's not like, oh, I want to go to New York and it's just going to happen just like that. No, there is a procedure and it's not easy. I know. And this is what I talked to you about because this was the real first time that I really manifest something because even though that I have the methodology, I knew that I wanted to live in New York City, but sometimes you don't know how it's going to happen. So I started working in international business and it was an opportunity at the office in New York from the Valencian Institute of Export. And I asked for it and then it just happened. And really it was a dream come true. And it was really in a certain period of time that this dream, it manifests, but I just giving you this example, when I was aware for the first time that a dream could be manifested. Because before that time, I wasn't aware. And this was my real first time. But I wanna share with you what is really what happened and what is the procedure. And I just wanna make sure that you know that I always speak from my own experience. I couldn't speak for anyone else. I just explained what served me. And this is all about what we do in BB Knows Best. It's only to serve what by my experience served me in my life. And I just love to share it with you. So let's go. Let's see what is the procedure. First one, clarity have a clear understanding of what do you really want. So many times we don't really manifest our dreams because we keep switching. I want this, I want that. And then we don't really get to manifest anything because we don't really know what we want and we keep switching. So when you have a target, that's the target. This is what you want and you go. Second thing is positive thinking. You could not really want something and be negative about it. Oh, well, I really want to move overseas. I would love to live somewhere else. I'm so tired of my city. Oh, my life is so sucks. How could you manifest something when you are speaking negatively? That doesn't work. If you are in a complaining mood, if you are tired of everything and you have this really um, negative attitude about things, it's not going to happen. So that's why it is important to have the positive thinking. Third, visualize. 
Yes, I know I told you many times, but I know it works. Visualizing is really to have in your mind a clear understanding. I remember I saw so many movies about New York, so I could imagine myself walking in the New York streets, just taking that yellow cup taxis. <laughs> That city that it pumped on my heart with such love that I have for that city. But I was always positive. Could you believe that I was so positive that all of my friends, they told me that I was completely a nutcase because I said, I know I will live in New York. I know I'm going to New York. And they were saying, oh yeah, oh, you are so annoying. Stop with this. But guess what? Now I'm in New York. <laughs> so yes, I was annoying, but I was completely sure. Another thing, the feeling. It is important to feel good about your dream. This is the math here. First, you know what you want. Then you really think positive about it. You visualize it and you feel, you feel good about it. You could not be like, yes, I want to go to New York, but you are, yeah, I want to go to New York and I feel so depressed and I'm not feeling good. Mm -mm. That's not the way. <laughs> it's not the way. It is important that you feel good. So remember alignment, what we think and what we feel, our head and our head and our heart should be in alignment, in harmony. Very, very important, all right? So, really, you have to have a feeling that you deserve that dream. If you don't have the feeling that is for you and you have the certainty that is for you, it's not gonna happen. If you are self-doubting yourself, mm -mm, it's not working. Self-doubt, no, no, no. And you have the feeling that you don't deserve it because you are in that mentality that maybe it's not for me. Hmm. You really have to believe that is for you. You have to have that feeling that you deserve it. Okay. Next, the most important one, take action. Yes, I know that I want to go to New York since I was a little kid, but I got prepared for that. So that's why I study English because I mean, so many times you really need to prepare for things before it happens. I remember a few years ago, I just had the feeling that I needed to learn French and I learned French in New York City. Yes, I know it's so exotic, right? <laughs> but I knew that at some point I needed to do something related with the language. And guess what? Then I end up working with several African countries that they speak French. So you need to get ready for the moment because I love Africa and I knew that if I wanted to do something in Africa and one of the biggest languages in Africa, because you have the Anglophone Africa and the Francophone Africa, I needed to speak French. So that's why you take action. I just giving you this a small example because a lot of people said, I want to move somewhere but you need to take some action. Tell the universe, I'm ready. So if you wanna live in China, start speaking Chinese first. And if you really wanna put a company, start to understand how a company works. So it's very important that we take action. Action is more important. This is the biggest thing when you want to manifest something. So you start to do baby steps to go to that point. So when the dream is coming, ha, you are ready, okay? Motivation. Of course, along the way, you're going to feel that things are not coming because we want everything now, 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 and it's not happening. Yeah, I know. But we need to find that motivation to keep going and keep going. You see, there's so many times in my life that I pursue something so much and it's not coming. And of course, I was feeling I'm going to give up, but then I said, no, get yourself together. I'm not giving up. And so many times I start something and then I go back straight to the point that I was before. And then I have to find again the motivation to start again. Just with little projects, little things, personal 
um, objectives that I wanted to get for myself, I needed to find that motivation. Okay, and it, it happens. Well, the next thing is release. You know what you want. You think positive about it. You feel it. You have the motivation. You are certain. You believe that you deserve it. You visualize it. You feel good about it. And then, boom, you release it. You let the universe take care of it. And just to give you the two last key points, gratitude and trust. I'm gonna be very short about gratitude and trust because I want to do a whole video about that. Remember, be thankful. Gratitude, it's very important and the trust that is gonna happen. So all of these points are what takes you to manifesting the dreams. The last dream I manifest, mm, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> I tell you the first dream and I tell you the procedure, but I realize that I don't wanna make it too long and I'm gonna keep the mystery going. So I will see you next time. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And remember, as I always tell you, I love you. Thank you.